in Rui's royal love and other Qing dynasty dramas, imperial women always hurt each other, and hoped other imperial women lost the emperor's favor. So, in the Qing dynasty, did the imperial wars commonly happen? The answer is no. Now, we always use the word Gong Kun Su Qing to describe the Qing inner court. Gong Kun Su Qing means the imperial woman didn't commonly involve in political affairs, and the imperial women lived together peacefully. In Qing Dynasty, only the Empress Dowager Xiao Zhuang, the Empress Dowager Cixi An, and the Empress Dowager Cixi have the experience of managing the court. Guang Xu's consort Zhen and the consort Jin were punished because they influenced Guang Xu when he made political decisions. That's it. Xiao Zhuang lived in early Qing Dynasty. The other four lived in late Qing Dynasty. This means, in most time of Qing Dynasty, the imperial women didn't have chance to participate in making political decisions. In the Han Dynasty, the founding Empress Lu killed lots of Liu royal family members. Then, the Empress Dowager participating in managing the court commonly happened. In Northern Wei Dynasty, several Empress Dowagers killed the Emperor. In Sui Dynasty, the Empress Du Gu helped the Emperor Wen manage the court. In the Tang Dynasty, because the first several emperors deeply influenced the state affairs, in about 100 years, Tang emperors dare not to have emperors. In the Song Dynasty, Nine Empress Dowagers have the experience of flying behind the curtain. In the Ming Dynasty, no Empress Dowager ran behind the curtain, but several Empress Dowager played critical roles in making important political decisions. Because in imperial wars, commonly exist in the inner court, is there possible that Qing imperial wars are not recorded in historical documents? In my opinion, Qing imperial wars do not exist. Now, I use Ming inner court as example to explain why I believe no imperial wars in Qing Dynasty. First, in ancient China, there are two rules called Zi Ping Mu Gui and Mu Ping Zi Gui. Zi Ping Mu Gui means the imperial woman's rank in the inner court decides whether her son had the possibility to inherit the throne. This because in ancient China, the Empress son had absolute priority in inheriting the throne. Mu Ping Zi Gui means after a prince becomes the emperor, his biological mother status will significantly increase. So, generally, an imperial woman and her biological son have same interest and goal. In the Ming Dynasty, the Empress Sun still have the absolute priority in inheriting the throne. But once the Empress doesn't have Sun, the consort's oldest son becomes the crown prince. So in the Ming Dynasty, it's reasonable that an imperial woman is worried other imperial women give birth son before her, 
and hurt others when they are pregnant. But in practice, except Wu Zong, Ming Empress had many kids. In the Qing Dynasty, the Empress son and the consort's oldest son do not have priority in inheriting the throne. The emperor can select the prince who had more capabilities as the crown prince. So, theoretically, every prince has opportunity to become the emperor. Then, why Qing imperial women had to hurt pregnant imperial women? Second, Ming emperors can promote his imperial women only according to his favor. Ming Xuanzong disrupted his first empress only because he loved the noble consort Xuan more. Emperor Xiaozong loves his empress so much, so he didn't have other imperial women. Emperor Wan Li loves his noble consort Zheng so much and fight with the government officers for several years on promoting noble consort Zheng's son to the crown prince. Unfortunately, he failed. In the Qing dynasty, except Sun Zhi, no emperor do something unusual for his favorite woman. Qing emperors generally promote several imperial women at the same time as a part of celebration of some big events. So, Qing imperial women promotion didn't commonly happen. In the Qing dynasty, Qianlong is the longest living emperor during his time, imperial women's promotion only happened 11 times. Third, in the Ming Dynasty, the emperor only had one empress, but no number limitation on other ranks. Ming imperial women can skip the ranks and get higher rank title. But in the Qing dynasty, there is number limitation on the high rank imperial women. And imperial women can't skip ranks. Once the higher rank is failed, no more promotion. For example, Jia Jing's third empress is De Pin, imperial concubine De. Because Jia Jing likes her, she can skip the rank consort and directly became the empress. In 1748, after the Empress Xiaoxian passed away, Qianlong should select a new empress. If Qianlong is a Ming emperor, he can select a new empress from noble consort, consort and imperial concubine. But as a Qing emperor, he only can select the new empress from two noble consorts. Noble consort Chun has several kids, but she isn't banner people. Noble consort Xian is banner people, and in daily life, her name always appears before noble consort Chun's name. This implies her status is higher than the noble consort Chun. So, no surprise that noble consort Xian is promoted to Qianlong's second empress. In one least time, imperial maid Wang Shi, Gilbert's one least first son, she was directly promoted to the consort. In April 1856, Cixi, as imperial concubine, Gilbert Xianfeng's first son, first son, and was promoted to consort Yi 
Several months later, she was promoted to the noble consort. Because in the Qing Dynasty there are too many limitations on promotion, this significantly decreased imperial women's motivation for competition. Thank you for watching this video. See you soon.